Meanwhile, Senator Cynthia Villar verbally sparred with officers from the animal industry and the FDA on the issues of rush delivery of ASF vaccines from Vietnam, which it had yet to approve, and charges of nepotism in the approval of ASF vaccines for clinical trial by the FDA that our Daniel Manalastas details in this report. The Bureau of Animal Industry was on the hot seat during the Senate investigation on the problem on African swine fever. Senator Cynthia Villar questioned the agency regarding the ASF vaccines from Vietnam, which apparently been tested before Vietnam's approval. Mama, a special import permit po yan from FDA. I'm from... Tagnunungin ko muna ako. Opo. Opo. Kayo ang kumpanya eh. Bakit kayo sumasagot? Sagutin mo, FDA. Uh, yes, for the FDA uh, granted the approval for the importation. Uh, it granted the approval on uh, June 23, only for field tri clinical trial. Next on Villar's hot seat, the Food and Drug Administration on why it proceeded with the clinical trial without Vietnam's approval. Definitely, po, it will not be around 300,000. Based on the clinical trial done in Vietnam, uh, 60 lang naman po ang kailangan. Oh, eh, ba't ka nag-issue ng 300,000? That was po the uh, request that came from uh, Bureau of Animal Industry. Nagtuturoan na kayo eh. Pero siya, press release ng press release. The Bayi also explained that it was pressure from public clamor to find a speedy solution to the ASF. But Villar insisted that relying on public clamor is not enough to disrupt or do shortcuts on the process. Naiinis na ako eh, kaya ayoko na mag-comment eh. Pinipilit nyo ako mag-comment. Relative ka daw ng supplier? Oo. Oh. O, oh, sino relative mo sa supplier? Ma'am, wala po. Ma'am, hindi po ako relative ng supplier, sorry. Ma'am, hindi po talaga. I am not. Namit ko lang ma'am actually yung supplier nung nag apply sila for clinical trial yung mag, mag supply dito ng bakuna but I haven't met them before. Daniel Maralastas for the nation.